is we, we've had a very strong week of practice, great effort. Uh, we're uh, looking forward to hosting a, a dynamic team, a uh, very talented team, very well prepared. And we'll, uh, we'll see if we can be up to the challenge. It's going to be fun. Where, where are you from? Are you like a, you employed? Oh, no, I was this is what I thought. See, if you find you'll change your luck about that employment thing if you don't wear red all the time. If the health is flat, it's not solid. It looks nice. That's all I can say. Go ahead. He did. Good to go. Good to go. I mean, um, he's probably, you know. Swelling sound really looks good. Got fresh legs. Yeah, I think he's good to go. When you, when you think back on the 2011 team, what is your memory of that team? What legacy do you think that team carries? And is there any emotional, you know, is it tough to look back and, and everything on that year? Are you talking about the 13 and one year? 2011, 13 and 0. 13 and, and yeah. Year. Are you kidding me? It was a great team, great group of guys. Um, a, uh, you know, sometimes those those game plans that seem to be uh, just wonderful don't uh, come to fruition, and sometimes you you finish second, but that's not going to demean the fact that that team won a conference championship, won the West, and you know played in the national championship. You'd, you'd have to say that to me they accomplished quite a lot. You know, I'd have to be real honest with you. The, the only place I know where the the uh, national champion. Um, didn't win the conference. I mean, let's just tell it the way it is. I mean, that was a very, very good team. Yeah, I thought agreed today. He said he felt, the team felt raw after the game, the fact they had to play him again. And this is all new. Well, yeah, you know, that's those those things are, you know, I, uh, I gave thought to when I answered the question, you know, should you play Alabama again? I gave thought to that, and it was the right answer. We wanted to play the best. And we... We found the best. Coach, you paid attention to any of the reports from Alabama about injuries and do you just does that change your approach to this game if they have a lineman or a running back or anybody out? Um, not really. We we anticipate that they have quality backups and we'll play the same style of game, you know. So you got any good news? I mean you got any like stuff that I you know, nobody else has? Come on, you can see me later. Derek. And and I would never consider injury to an opponent as good news, so you know that. But if it wasn't planned, I'd be interested to know that. Two part question. Do you remember the first time you ever posted in Death Valley? I do. What was it like? It was the uh, the start of the day was great. The first half was spectacular. We took the lead 21 to nothing, if I recall, um, against a very quality um, uh, Tennessee team and finished second in that game, as I recall. Um, I don't think we scored in the second half, and I think they kicked the field goal. I'm going to suggest off the top of my head 24-27 maybe or 27-24-21. Because we scored 21, we should have scored 24 in the first half to take the lead 24 nothing. But uh, we couldn't find a running game in the back half. So yeah, I remember the game, and it was the uh, <laughs> that was my first game. And at halftime, I was a hero, and at the end of the game, I was a bum. So just kind of the way it went. As far as the atmosphere goes, just you know, Death Valley being the craziest. It absolutely warmed my heart when I took the field. And, I, and to take that, it's always been an honor of mine as a head coach to do that. It's a, it's a special place. And, and the men that I've been fortunate to represent are, are great young men. And sorry, one more thing about it. What, what about Death Valley would you say is the biggest advantage, it, or the biggest advantage you get? It's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's the atmosphere of... 100,000 people plus the home team figure that we're going to play very well and win. And the anticipation of good things. 
um, the crowd's level of uh, noise that's made, uh, the cheering, um, certainly boosts the home team and is a distraction to the those teams that we visit. So, uh, and the people that are passionately attached to the home team, wow, special. <laughs>